Hello and welcome to the first show of the new year. Look at us two on the chat box and sofa. Can't believe it. Hopefully this is a good show. Speaking of a new year, it's around this time that a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. Did you make any, Michael? Uh, I didn't, no. It's one of those things that I, I never really do. I think if you're going to commit to something, do it throughout the rest exactly. of the year. But some people decide to give up smoking or alcohol. I maybe could have went on a diet because I did overindulge over Christmas. Did you overdo it on the food? I will say I did overindulge on the mince pies just a slight bit. I have seen results of that. But speaking of food, we've got our own cooking expert, Sophie Buxton, showing us her expertise in the kitchen with Lucy Clayton in this week's Student Cupboard. And in a battle of words, Damien and Jamie went head to head to make each other laugh. But who will end up being drenched in water? Now, back in the autumn, our Sophie was sharing this, her spicy fajitas with us and she's back in a battle of the dishes. With none other than our Lucy Clayton. Here's how they got along in the kitchen earlier this week. Hello and welcome back to our first episode of Student Cupboard for 2018. Today I am going to be making a gorgeous, easy Italian dish, but with a twist. The chicken and bacon carbonara. So we have some salt and pepper for seasoning, oil for the pan so the chicken doesn't stick, diced onion, some cream and sour cream for the carbonara sauce, an egg yolk, uh, grated cheese, mushrooms, parsley for the topping, and the pasta itself. And the bacon, of course, that which I'm now cutting. Diced cubes. We've now got the chicken breasts. Chicken breasts. Just cutting the chicken fillets into diced squares. Do you think Sophie has the skill to win? Um, well, from her chopping technique, no. Adding the water into the pan and putting the spaghetti in there. Mm. Might be here for a while. As you can see, the chicken isn't really doing much at the moment. But you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Now adding the bacon to the chicken, let that cook, and then we'll be adding vegetables. Smelling good. <laughs> Add the cream and the sour cream. of cheese. Voila! Bon appetit! The bundle is going to be so messy. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Come on, guys, tuck in. That really is incredible. And we'll pick that up later on in the show. Oh, interesting. How does it feel to be back at Media City, George? It's been great seeing everyone, seeing how their Christmases were and what they got off Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> Did you get anything exciting? I know you're into your technology and things. Now, if you didn't know, George was behind those impressive drone shots on Chatterboxes last year. Oh, you do flatter me, Michael. I did, however, get a new laptop, but my favourite present by far has to have been the tripod, which I can use for all my journalism <laughs> activities. Handy, won't it? Exactly. <laughs> It's good to be spoiled, isn't it, Michael? It is, of course. Well, I was shouting presents, which was lovely. I got one of those um, Amazon Echoes, oh, you know, yeah. the Alexa, but it doesn't understand my Northeast accent. It keeps coming out with the most stupidest of things. 
Well, funnily enough, that's a nice little link into our next segment. Have you ever seen those Radio 1 bingo shows? I have, the innuendo bingos, yeah. Well, Damien and Jamie challenged themselves to just that. Take a look. How's it going, everybody? I'm here right now with Jamie Burr. We're in Lower 2. We're going to film a little segment I like to call Make Me Laugh. What's going to happen is Jamie and I are going to put some water in our mouth and we're going to watch a YouTube video and we're going to try not to laugh. All right, well, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's do it, all right? <laughs> you guys don't know how hard it is until you have the water in your mouth, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His phone is so wet at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remind me of that time that I drank water as a kid. We are going to Disney World because I used to live in Florida. And I was drinking a lot of water and there was no bathroom stops for about 30 miles. So it turns on the radio, you know what song starts playing? <laughs> Raindrops keep falling on my head. And then, I was all out me. It went everywhere. Baby. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. We got each other pretty, like, but She's soaking wet. in water right now. And I'm gonna take a couple of showers, I think, to clean all this off. And now we'll go back to the main show, guys. Brilliant stuff, guys. Be sure to send us your reactions to that on our social media. We're on Twitter at UOS Chatterboxes. And on Instagram, too, at the same address. Well, as it's lunchtime, I reckon we should head back to the kitchen for that cook off with Sophie and Luce. Fajitas. Fajita pasta way you can so what do you think? What do you think, Colleen? Think of Impressive. Good mixture of flavours. Mm. Great texture. And you know, I never thought a fajita would work in pasta. It does. But it really it? does. I know. With a crunch, with the cheese. Mm. Perfect student meal on a budget. 
You've both done a brilliant job. Carbonara, fantastic. It's one of my favourite meals anyway. The chicken just took it to that next level. Um, perhaps didn't quite know all the lingo so much. Um, I'm really glad we had diced cubes rather than diced triangles. Um, the fajita pasta, incredible. It's so unique. It's different, made it stand out. Had that kick to it, nearly killed me in the end. Um, it's a tough decision. I deep down feel like the real winner's me because I've been fed twice. But I have to say, the fajita pasta just edges it. I think we both did a really good job, but this time I just topped it a little bit. But I will admit, yours was delicious, so thank you. Don't thank go you. beating yourself up. No, I it. won't. I won't. Canabra. <laughs> Canabra. <laughs> oh my gosh, what, what have I even made? Canabra. <laughs> Canabra. <laughs> Carbonara is still close to my heart. I think I need a drink after this. Yeah. Let's go yeah. celebrate. Let's. Thank well, you for watching. See you next time on Student Covered. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. I'm actually Good work, girls. I'll definitely be having dinner again sometime with the both of you. <laughs> now, before the end of the show, I have to ask you, is there anything that you just haven't been able to get enough of this week? Well, I did go and watch The Greatest Showman recently. It's mm. very good. That the one with Zac Efron in it? It is indeed. He played a brilliant role in it, as always. See, I'm not really a musical fan. It's one of those things I, I sort of like, sort of don't like. So I'm, would it be the film for me? The music was superb. It was absolutely mm. phenomenal. Um, it was very well beautifully shot as well with the characters and everything. Um, I'd definitely go and recommend seeing it indeed. How about a favourite song? Do you have one of them? My favourite song would have to be the one called A Million Dreams. It was very emotional, to say the so least. what's it about, actually? I've not heard too much about it, just raving reviews about it. Uh, it's the classic story about starting from the bottom and just working your way up. Mm. Um, so I'd definitely Sounds go Sounds good, see I'll have it. to go check it out. We'll go after the show. Now, I'm not sure if you saw it, but the NTAs was also on earlier this week. I did catch and it. And Chatterbox has just missed out on an award to this morning, sadly. Um, but did you see the Chase presenter, Bradley Walsh, run on stage at the end? That was hilarious. That he ran on and tried to accept their award. It for... was. I do enjoy sitting down <laughs> at tea time with my mum and watching the Chase. The Chase. It's a brilliant programme. And have you heard he's joining Doctor Who at the end of the I year? I know. I can't wait for that, seeing him in that. Oh, it's yeah. great to see more Alongside of him. Alongside Jodie Whittaker. First female Doctor. I know. That's going to be interesting. It will be, It's yes. going to bring a whole fresh perspective to it. And it'll, like, re-energise the mm. show. Imagine if um, Bradley Walsh's character was being chased by Daleks and as he gets to maybe the bottom of a, a corridor or whatever, the, the Daleks around him says, the chase is on. That would be good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and Idris Elba, um, he said that he would quite like to see a female James Bond, which is something a bit different, I think. I don't know if I'd like a female James Bond. I don't know if it'd just quite work. Because um, he's always been a he's male He's a bit of thing. a womaniser, isn't he? I mean, he's not like an alien Doctor Who who can just like... <laughs> that is true, he can't just regenerate. It has always been a man. So, um, so yeah. Have you, have you been interested in anything else this week? I haven't, that's about it. So, Oscar nominations maybe? Have you heard about who's been nominated for I them? I have, yes. Who did you think um, will get any of them? Oh, I'm not sure. I do think maybe... Um, Star Wars, that was a big film of 2017, wasn't it's, it? It's almost guaranteed mm. that Star Wars is going to win something. Uh, now, that brings us to the end of the show, I'm afraid. Um, and I think we should go catch some lunch. We're back at a similar time in the same place next week. We'll see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> that was all right. <laughs>